Hello everyone, and today tutorial we'll be talking about the RAID solution. So first of all, what is RAID? Uh, by the way, RAID have two meanings. First of all, is redundant array of the independent disk, while the other one is used to be called redundant array of the inexpensive disk. Is a data storage virtualization technology that combine multiple physical disk components into one or more logical unit for the purpose of data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will show you how to make different type of RAID. We will install RAID 0, RAID 1 and RAID 5. We will talk about each one of those characteristics in order to understand them better. First of all, RAID 0 name is called Stripe. Stripe volume is the fastest among all of them but they provide no redundance. The reason why it's so fast is because it copy multiple files in the same time in multiple disks or basically what it does is actually split the files in both disks you have or you can have more than two so that's why it's so fast however in case of a disaster like one of the disks fail well the whole data is lost cannot be retrieved also in order to make RAID 0 you need to have minimum two disks what about RAID 1? RAID 1 is called mirroring and from all of this this is the slowest because every time he need to copy in both drive the same data if you look around that's what will happen they will copy the file on one of the disks and then will copy it again the same file in the second disk as well but remember something in a RAID 1 you can have minimum and maximum to disk you can have more than that in case of a failure all of the data is safe in the first member Okay, now let's talk a little bit about RAID 5. So first of all, RAID 5 has no name and usually doesn't work on the client. You cannot achieve RAID 5 in a client. Usually the RAID 5 is for Windows Server. You need minimum 3 disks and use something called parity. First of all, RAID 5 evenly balanced read and write and is currently one of the most commonly used RAID method. It has more usable storage than RAID 1 and RAID 1 plus 0 or 0 plus 1 configure and provide performance equivalently to RAID 0, almost similar to RAID 0. Okay, so what will work it is like this. Each one of these files will be copied in different disk. These are in the same um, drive pool. As a result, if one of the drive fail, the other three members, they have enough information about what just happened. All right, guys. So now we will go to the server side. We will show. I will show you how to install RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5 in Windows Server, including uh, span volume and how to make a volume by command line. Okay, guys. So coming back to the RAID part, the technical part. So let's add some drive first. So let's go to the settings of the virtual machine. Hit Add and ha hard disk SCSI. Create a new virtual disk, store virtual disk as a single file, 5 gigs, finish. And I want to do this process a couple of times. Specifically, I want to do it seven times because I want to show you how RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5 works. Store virtual disk as a single file, 5 gigs. Add hard disk, create a new virtual machine, store virtual disk as a single file. Okay, hard disk, SCSI, create a new virtual machine, store virtual disk as a single file, 5 gigs. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Hard disk, SCSI, create a new virtual, store virtual disk as a single file. Hard disk, one more time, here. So it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, store virtual disk, and I finish this process. Now, first of all, it's exactly similar to what happened in a real computer. Once you plug in the hard drive in the computer, you need to activate the drive. So in Windows Server, you either hit Windows key plus R and type diskmgmt.microsoft and they will get you straight to disk management or disk manager. Or you can go to start server manager, tools, computer management. And then you go to disk management in here and you get in the same there in the same tab. Now. As you can see, they will pop out that I have seven drives added to the computer. 
First of all, we have two types of partition, master boot record and grid partition table. Master boot record is, be, is used to be used for all versions of Windows, like Windows Vista, Windows 7, while GPT is used for Windows 10. Another difference is the sizing. In a master boot record, you cannot have any partition bigger than 2 terabyte, while in the grid partition table, you can have up to 192. Okay, for me it's already initialized, but for you guys, you need to, first of all, there will appear the drive like this, with a uh, red uh, arrow down, so what you need to go, click online, then you need to right click initialize disk. Once these things happen, let's start creating, like, like in here, you see, this guy is online, select disk 1, now initialize disk. They will ask you what do you want to have, MBR or master boot record, and hit OK, and as you can see, my driver in here. Now, as you remember, in RAID 0, or strip, striped, you need two disks. So right-click, new striped volume, next, and I select the third disk. Let's say I don't want to use the full size, I just want to use some size of it, 5000. Uh, you can change the letter if you want, I want to name it raid zero they will give you a warning that they will be converted from basic disk to a dynamic disk basic disk uh, is a little bit different than dynamic disk first of all basic disk has a fixed length or fixed size in this case my blue disk here is a basic disk of 5 gigs which later on cannot be expanded no matter what in a dynamic disk they can be expanded as I go so hit yes and I think the color of RAID 0 is some kind of um, um, greenish or green, something like that. It takes some time until they synchronize the drives. And also I want to show you something that since we add two, two drives together, the size is cumulative as well. So I will see a single partition which rather than be 5 gigs will be uh, 10. So I go to File Explorer, this PC. And as you can see here, I have a RAID 0, which is 9.70 something gigs, because I leave some free space. And it's just a regular drive. I can click on the next disk and I make a RAID 1. A RAID 1 usually is called Mirror. So click Next, and I select the one which have same size, which is disk 5. I don't want to use disk 2. Okay, I make it 5000 as well. Next, and I name it Mirroring. Now, a difference between mirroring and stripe is the following. Mirroring provides you redundancy, but usually it's slow because they need to copy the file in both disks. In a RAID 0, they copy the file in the same time in multiple disks. Um, as you can see in the file explorer, this PC, the RAID 1 or the mirroring has only 4.8 even though I have to drive because everything one member see it copy in the other one for the raid 5 we need three disk so right click new raid 5 volume so select the other two left over and make 5000 as well next and name it raid 5 finish usually this one takes the most of it to combine because uh, it has to synchronize multiple drive and also the bigger is your hard drive the more times it takes to combine those things together another interesting feature which you need to take in consideration this is called software raid or raid software raid so raid um, software raid is one of those raid which actually uh, is by software and it is another one which is by hardware the rate the hardware rate is the one which actually have a dedicated part on the motherboard which allow you to have control over usually is faster and perform better than the software rate but this one is almost as good as the software uh, the, as the hardware rate so let's go to file explorer and as you can see uh, it takes some time to synchronize the drive
Okay, so now if you look at the size, it's only 10 gigs, it's not 15, even though we have three of these RAID solution together, it's because one is used for parity. Now, if you look on the left, I have a lot of unallocated space, so I can right click on it and I will make a span volume. Span volume is an extension of volume, so you can have multiple disks together and name it span, uh, span. So what they do, they combine the whole size left over from multiple disks together and form a single drive. It's similar to an extension of volume, you can extend your volume. However, if one of the disks fail, you have no redundancy. So first of all, if I go to this PC, as you can see, there is the whole data combined from multiple disks together. But in case of a failure, everything is lost. Let's do something in here. I want to delete this guy and I want to show you something else, delete this volume. I can create a simple volume, a simple or a basic volume by command line. So I can hit the Windows key plus R and type disk uh, CMD, disk part. Now type list disk, select disk 1. As you can see my name of the disk is 1, this one, select disk 1. If I type again list disk, as you can see there is a little star on the, f on the front of disk 1 which show which delay the disk is selected. Then I type clean. I clean the disk. Create partition primary. Okay. Format file system NTFS quick. If you don't type quick, it will take you a lot of time. Assign letter equal. Well, if you want to assign letter, fine. If not, just leave it. Uh, active assign and they will assign for you automatically a letter from pool. So this PC, as you can see, they name it local disk, well I can change that too, and is I. Usually command line will help you to format a drive which usually cannot be formatted by the uh, graphical user interface. All right, so beside that, we can make something called mount volume or extension of volume. So let's add another drive in here, hard disk, create a new virtual disk, store virtual disk, and as you can see it's 60 gigs. Okay, and will appear in here very soon. Now oh, come on, where is it? It's here. Right click online, right click initialize, hit OK. Now click new simple volume. Click next, next, mount the following empty new technology file system folder and in my case is I and I create in here extra storage hit OK and finish you don't have to do anything else so what will happen it will mount this 60 gigs partition inside of the 5, five gigs so if I go to file explorer and I go to this PC local disk as you can see I have 60 gigs size inside of a 5 gigs all right guys so thank you so much hopefully you like it don't forget to subscribe and like my channel have a wonderful day